welcome to Scope. Today we're getting out of the bunker so we can get into some extreme environments. Crystals, they have a highly ordered microscopic structure. They're part of lots of things from snowflakes to diamonds or table salt. Crystals can also reveal some amazing secrets of volcanoes. Hi, I'm Teresa and I study volcanoes. And believe it or not, these tiny crystals tell me about a volcano's past and present and can help me predict its future. A crystal inside a volcano will grow layer by layer over many, many years. Each layer is a record of what happened at a particular time in that growth, a bit like the rings on trees. When a volcano erupts, the crystal's outer layer may record the final event which triggered that activity, like the arrival of new magma into the volcano plumbing system. So, how do we extract this data? That's when some fairly new technology comes in. Using this laser drilling tool, I'm able to remove a tiny amount of the crystal and analyze its chemical composition using an instrument called a mass spectrometer. I need to gather data from hundreds of crystals to build a precise scientific picture of how a specific volcano works inside. From there, I can build a two-dimensional image of the composition of the different layers of the mineral. We call this a chemical map. This means I can read what the crystal recorded throughout its growth, and particularly just before it erupted. We can collect rocks from different volcanoes around the world and use this technique to better understand what conditions might lead to future eruptions. Australia doesn't have many active volcanoes on the mainland, but we are next to the biggest concentration of active volcanoes on Earth. 452 of them, which make up the Pacific Ring of Fire. The fact is, volcanoes are major environmental hazards. They impact air traffic, agriculture, even climate, and they endanger human lives. So by solving the puzzle of how they work, we are aiming to help reduce the risks associated with these forces of nature.